So I couldn't find a way to set the wheel size on this nice little speedometer. It's one of the few ones that actually has the uh, physical connection for the uh, speedometer cable, which is nice. And I mean, the other magnetic ones that hang out by the wheel, it's kind of not the greatest. So uh, the problem was there was no way to set the wheel size. Uh, so if I give this a full spin now, it's saying 12 miles per hour. Um, it was originally saying uh, like 5 miles an hour or 7 miles an hour when I did that. It was definitely not set right. Um, so they, they tell you to put in, there's like a password, you got to hit that button in the back there. This button here, you got to hold it in when it turns on. Let's see here. So uh, you want to put 6610 in here. You got to hold it in to skip to the next one. And click it to do it. All right, now it'll usually say four four six here, and you click the button to go to the first setting thing, and they'll tell you that that just four four six means success, but. <laughs> That's actually your wheel size. Um, so 460 is probably some like, I don't know, bigger inch wheel than mine. Mine's a 13 inch wheel, so I put it on 330 because that's basically what that is. Um, and I haven't had a chance to test it on the road, but it definitely changed the wheel size setting. I could definitely say that. So uh, that's how you change the wheel size on this thing. I might as well mention that the... Uh, First setting here, uh, set the two does the miles per hour, set the one does the kilometers. Uh, I didn't want to do that. And then this one is like number of cylinders for the tachometer. I don't really need that. Mine's a one cylinder anyway. And then this is something to do with the fuel sensor, which I'm not using at the moment. 